If you're not going to get it all done, you really make sure this is going to dry off in its correct position. I can see here it's sticking out. That's going to be no good. Uh, it's these ones that you want to really have set perfectly because everyone's going to come in and they're going to be looking. They're going to be looking up at that and they're going to just see if it's sharp, if it's a good job, if it's a bad job. Sometimes you have to take a bit of mud off to see what you're doing. Uh, tape won't stick. We can chalk line it though. Let's chalk line it. Yeah, good there. Now we've done our own experiments, but found this is the best way. Haven't we, Huge? Is we'll put a couple of screws in as well. Now when you're mixing up guys, it's important not to mix it too dry and then you have to add water later. You want to be gradually thickening it up. Where do you want to start, Yuji? We'll start with our kitchen one, our short one. All right, so we're going to start up in that little corner there. So yeah, I should be able to hang some of these. And um, so. yeah. Really? Yeah. Pretty big. This is our left internal, so gotta go down. Beautiful, you see that? That's how you want that. So you know that next piece is gonna go on good. This one, good as well. Then you can push it in carefully, make sure it's lined up. Really wanna get that first piece going well, because if it's a little bit out, then your next one's a little bit out, and that sort of thing. So Another thing is you want it consistent the whole way, as much as you can, with no gaps. So the whole lot needs to be butted. If there's a gap, it might not create that little airlock. Plus you gotta go back and fill it. And we, as well, yeah, you have to go back and yes. fill it. Another tip is, well, another thing you have to do is any of the corners, you have to put mud, mud on them. We prefer to. Okay, so that the back locks in. So Eugene's gonna get that end. We're gonna put it on the back here. One other thing, James, if you're looking, and I'll show you when we're a bit open, you have your finger on the bottom. You make sure that bottom's lined up. Okay, so when it snaps into place, it's hard to adjust. So that bottom's lined up flat. That's how you know it's good. This product is really good. I don't have to worry about this falling down as we're doing it. If you do get mud on your hands, you use those water buckets to keep your hands clean. So we don't get anything on the face of the cornice. When I first started learning, Eugene would always get up me because I get mud on the, on the cornice and then it just takes a lot longer to clean off. Minus 100. 
This is a five meter length. When you're doing corners, anything that can annoy you, will annoy you. So before you mix up, make sure everything's sort of ready to go because yeah. not a lot of time. Stops, stop. Stops are no one. I've got that ready. You good? Yep. So I'm glad we could get a full length on this one. Okay, that's nice, man. We're, we're in. We're in. UG's just adjusting it, making sure there's no gap. It's in the right spot. So it's a little bit awkward doing the big ones, but I mean, once we wipe off, that is done. That's how you finish there. So we keep going around the big ones, hey, UG? Yeah. We'll yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave the kitchen. We'll keep going around this way, so. Yeah. Next piece, 27, and we'll use horsey. Then when we get maybe a little bit further, we'll drop back and we'll scrape off, and then we keep going. He's about to be up. Make it worse. Got my finger on the bottom. Keeping it clean. So it's gonna be real quick cleaning it back. And the secret is to quickly move on. All right, so this piece is for there. All right, that goes up like that. Mate, when you've been in the game like I have. Hey, you're not at your night job now making pizzas. Hey, <laughs> keep that. Just got this second job, guys. Pizza delivery. That's ready. Here I was waiting around for something. So that just plugs straight in there. So I have my finger on the corner. Try not to rub it on anything yet. Guide that corner in. And then push. That is way out. Way out. So sometimes when you get tight, that one was tight. So which meant this piece didn't go all the way in, which meant this piece is sticking out. So this is when you gotta get messy. So we're just gonna cut it a little bit. I can see here it's sticking out. That's gonna be no good. So it's actually this one is a bit out a little bit. So gonna clear that out that's why I was saying before it's pretty you have to be quite accurate with corners but if you have the time you can always work with it 
and if something's not right, you can fix it before you get too far. So I've, I've given myself a bit of space there. And now, you see, I'll be able to slide it all the way over. There we go. You want that line just lined up to there. Okay. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to fill that part up. That's all right. Don't, don't zoom into that bit, mate. Now I really like to put a tester piece on it, make sure it's set right. And then we'll go back this way, huge. Finish that bit. Yep, Yuji hasn't pushed this in yet, so it's adjustable when we get this one on, but it's in the right area. And same with this one. Especially if you're not gonna get it all done. If you're not gonna get it all done, you really make sure this is gonna dry off in its correct position. See that there, that's nice, I just pulled it up. So if you weren't, if you're gonna leave it like that, have it set in place, but make sure you get your template on, just like that. He's just buttering the internal up. As you can see, and that will load up in here. Okay, that looks pretty good lined up. This is probably one of the most important parts, this bit here. Here's our yeah, little piece here. I knew I cut it, I knew I cut it. I like this part, he's gonna butter up every, every part. Uh, it's these ones that you wanna really have set perfectly, because everyone's gonna come in and they're gonna be looking. They're gonna be looking up at that, and they're gonna just see if it's sharp, if it's a good job, if it's a bad job. Sometimes you have to take a bit of mud off to see what you're doing. Because it's all covered. So what I'm going to do, because I can't exactly see anything, I'm going to take some mud off and see where we're at. Now it might still need some adjusting, so make sure the bottoms are good. See that? It's not good there. So I'm gonna have to need two hands. Anyway, just pin him there for 10 minutes, and that's set nicely. Beautiful. <clears throat> Bottoms lined up. 
no gap. Perfect. And you can just hear it, how solid it is. One downfall about using the compound tube is your mud has to be really liquidy, runny, which means it loses its strength, I think, and you run the risk of it falling off the wall, falling from the ceiling. All of the above. Guys, I want you to go check something out. Go to my website. I just launched it. Some people have already signed up. Global.maxkill.com And if you do any kind of plastering or painting work, sign up to the website, list your business because we have people coming on looking for people to do work. So please come and join us. It's free, you can't lose anything. You can upload pictures and people can contact you directly from your page. So that's just been launched. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Check it out. Because once I've got enough listings, I'm gonna start advertising the page to mum and dads at home who need work done. No matter where they are, they can go onto the website and they can find someone who does this near them. And you can always send people, send potential customers the link to that page. So if you're like Eugene, you know, he can sign up, he can put pictures on, because other, you know, he's not with Facebook or anything like that. So that's a way for you to have your own sort of page. You won't find him on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, this end's pretty good. So this end's important. We're not gonna try and get any more on. We have to go back and scrape everything back. So I'm just gonna get an external here. Make sure it lines up. Here's our external. So you wanna make sure that's ready. See how there's that gap? See that gap at the top if you come around? So if that rolls down a bit, it loses that gap. So it is a touch long, but we can work with that. That's in the right spot. Right there, that's not gonna go anywhere. If you're using a runnier mud, that might slide down, but that's pretty much what we want. So we're gonna go through now, we're gonna scrape everything back and start this back in the kitchen, because that's where it started drying, and I'm gonna work my way back. Yep, she's drying. She's drying, Ju. Don't put any more on. No. Nah. Nah. It's very hard already. So you don't want to leave this too long guys because then it gets harder to take off and then it takes even longer. Then you have big problems. And it'll dry even more and more. You don't want any gaps. If you see them, you do want to fill them as you go. Just going to quickly go over these, get the excess out, and we're going to come back to every internal and external, put some lipstick on it, and make it look pretty. But we're just taking the excess. Next, we'll run a sponge. Fridge? No. What is that for? Mm. 
that's a bit long. two pieces here to go. See my line there? About here. That's nice, that's real nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Where's that last one? Here. All right, we've got the last piece. Keep your trail still and I'll run it through the bandsaw. It's one in every crowd. No, no, we're good. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my gun. <laughs> all right. We'll get that all good. I'll show you, I'll show you how we finish this now. 